Do you mind? What are you going to Listen, I, you know what? You have, you have an attitude. But I do have a new bird for us. Another one? A finch? How did you know? Kind of caught it. Oh wow, this guy's beautiful. Yeah. He seems a little big for her, no? I mean, but they might like that, you know, the macho guy. I know a lot of girls go for <laughs> little baby. guys, but some, some girls go for guys like Tina's son. <laughs> Vinny, did you see the finch that I got? Yeah? Let's set up the finch cage real quick. So guys, this is a quick setup. As you guys know, I'm a big fan of the natural perches that are not perfectly straight so that your bird can have all different variations of sizes so that your bird's foot, it's more orthopedic for your bird. Imagine if he's just sitting like this everywhere in the cage. There's different sizes here. We sell these on our site at parrotstation.com. I love the weird ones. There's no guarantee which shape it will be. They're natural, so it's whatever we have in stock. I'm pretty impressed that we have some that are small enough for finches. <gasps> Who's this? This is my baby Brando. For those of you that might not know how to set up a perch, let's go over that real quick. You keep this washer on this side and you'll put the bar of the cage in between. Reason being, cause it could go through. So let's just choose some spots for it. Oh, we need access to the food and water. Well, the finch is very small, so the finch can kind of just go sit on the water thing. I think right now this is kind of a good spot. It's hard to tell. Once you set them up, you kind of start knowing what's in the way. This is less of an official cage setup and just kind of a temporary solution. I actually thought for some reason that three perches would take up the whole cage, but now that I put it in, this cage is a lot bigger than I thought. So you guys saw what I did there. One washer is on one side, the bar is in the middle. You know, I don't know what you're jealous of. Try to have a bit. Try to have a variation of heights so that your bird can, you know, be high, be low, however your bird wants to be. But make sure you don't put so many perches in there that your bird can't fly around, especially with the little birds. This is kind of a cool idea because it, it leaves a lot of open space right here. Righty tighty, lefty loosey, why do I have long nails? By the way, guys, my nails are in honor of my new Glitter Vinny Gang hoodies and shirts. So Vinny's pink, Vinny's beak, which is yellow, on the hoodie, glitter, and the black hoodie. You guys check those out on parastation.com as well. What are you mad at? Listen, I can't tell what righty tighty and lefty loosey is here. Generally, I would put a perch for food, but these bowls are kind of the bowls and finches are so small that they can just step on them. They don't need an added perch or they'd be too... Why are you on me? To come torture me? Like, why are you here? You need to go to bed. You're overtired, you know that? Side note, if your bird is experiencing hormones, I don't know if this has ever been said, I don't know if I have said it, there's a lot of things you can do to help them and ease them through this situation. And there is a lot of things, so there's things you could do for the bird and there's things you could do for yourself. However, don't blame yourself if they're still behaving like this. They're going through something, it's natural, they're birds. Don't expect from yourself to give your bird the right food, take away certain materials, and that your bird's not still going to be struggling. It's part of the bird's nature. You want to be next to me, but you also want to be an angry, crazy birdie? Don't treat your bird as if your bird is treating you negatively. Just understand what your bird is going through and be more lenient with that. Don't take things personally with birds, you know? I know she's biting. I'm just going to adjust myself that I don't feel it by, you know, covering my finger real quick. 
There are other reasons you may be quarantining a bird besides for the fact that you brought one into your house to keep. You may have found a bird outside. You may have found a bird that is lost. You may be in the middle of a rescue, fostering. I have no idea. There's lots of reasons why you may have a bird suddenly and you may not be ready for a bird. So some things you wanna keep on hand. These are the bowls that fit in the cage. I have filled this with filtered water, but sometimes this happens. I mean, maybe I'm not the only one, but this happens. When you're bringing out a cage in an emergency situation for a bird that you weren't planning on having or helping, you can't find the bowls and you can't find pieces, just like we had to put the perches in the cage. It's always good to have little things like these on hand. I like to keep them just as like fruit bowls for my birds. They come in many different sizes. I actually buy a pack that they all fit in each other. And then you always have quick things that you can add onto the cages. We're gonna put the finchy food in here. There's a lot of different components to what to have to take care of a finch. We'll go over that in a different video. This is just kind of us getting them sorted. I pre-mixed a little bit of some egg protein and some finch seed, but some other things that we're going to add to Finchie's cage are going to be some charcoal, which we'll put in a separate bowl that is actually good for all finches. What is wrong with you, Brando? Charcoal kind of goes through your system, collects all the toxins, and just, you know, excretes it. So we're gonna put some of that in a separate bowl. So another thing that we're going to add, I actually have it on special order, is basically a type of grit that's small enough for finches. And I'm hoping to have someone come in and do a really good informational finch video for you that not only you guys, but also I can benefit from as well. I don't know, that looks good. No. You wanna make sure that they're, it's not close enough in a situation where if the finch wants to stand on it, that they would also be going potty on the perch. Be aware of those kind of things. So, shh, do you mind? What are you doing here? Listen, I, you know what? You have, you have an attitude. I'm adding a swing. This might be, it's definitely small enough for a finch, but you could probably get a smaller swing for a finch. We'll check it out just because this perch is a little big, but definitely, you know, he's actually kind of one of a, a bigger finch than the one that I have. So I just want to create some activity. And what's cool about this beautiful toy, which you can get at parrotstation.com, is that our new finch cannot really destroy it. So he's not going to chew it up. So it'll stay beautiful and pretty in here. We'll try it out. Another thing to be aware of is the length of your bird's nails. Right now, you'll notice I have these paper towels on top, but if you start noticing that your bird's nails are too long or they're getting caught in it, remember the rule of thumb, always, always, change it immediately. If it happened once, it's gonna happen again and it's gonna happen worse and Brando is behind you trying to torture you. This is so useful, actually. This is a really quick, small water bottle that's really easy to add to travel cages because the water's not bouncing all around. Since the bird's been using it, I'm going to keep it. You know, he's used to it. I'm not sure if the Finchie seeds are the same exact brand, so I'm going to add these to that mix. When a bird gets used to eating something, you don't wanna just switch it up immediately. So our new finch now has his quarantine cage set up and now it's going to be so much fun to learn and observe a little bit about this finch. So stay tuned. Don't forget to like this video. Leave me a comment. Say hello. Let me know who you are because I love knowing you guys and believe it or not, I start remembering you guys from the comments and um, even if I don't respond, I read them. Good. Later. Bye.